Right, going back to 2007, and we're off to visit St. You in search of Zara's ancestors from Cornwall. Anyway, I'm going on the village tour today, and I'm at St. You. I don't know if you pronounce it like that, but it's um, E W E. Um, I, found, I found traces of um, the Barbaries here. Um, so I'm going to go and have a look around this little church, which has got a spire as well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going around the various villages where they were located in the parish reg registers at St. Austell. So it's the 4th of October 2007. It's uh, nearly half past nine in the morning. It's a sunny day and good weather is predicted. And I'm parked up right in the centre of the village. It's a really oldie worldy village, and I'm parked up right in the middle of it. I just hope I don't get my feet soaked again, because I need to get some more socks today. And looking at the window, I can see scaffolding up, and um, what was the old post office. A little plaque on the wall. You know, you can see that they have been rendered, some of the buildings, but uh, you can see by the roofs and the chimneys that they're quite old. So I'm parked up in the little tiny square of St. U. And I'm off into the graveyard now. Oh, that is good old Saints Church, St. U. The pub is called the Crown Inn. Right, I've got inside the church. It's got that musky smell. This is um, possibly one of the churches that some of Zara's Barbary ancestors and other namesakes were married, christened and buried. There's a little picture of the church of the old graveyard there. Might be a light on in here, I'll have a look in a minute. Near the altar there's a great big plaque laid in the floor of um, John Hope Esquire of Amsterdam, who died in 1830, age 55, and also his son, John, who drowned near Windsor in 1812, age 14, and a Henry as well. That's the hope they might have been important people in this community. a plaque to a John Tremaine here. It's about T-R-E-M-A-Y-N-E. -E. Born April 1825, died April the 7th, 1901. That's my got a nephew whose surname is Tremaine. So he's got Cornish ancestry from his dad's side. There's a wooden rosetted ceiling in here. Not highly decorated, but there's another Tremaine thing on the wall as well. The Tremaine place. Yeah, there's a great big, um, hero, you know, the uh, coat of arms thing. Several of those dotted around, big wooden boards on the ceiling. And go into the belfry where all the ropes are hanging down. Right, I've had a look round in here. Next to the church it looks like what's a, looks to be a manor house. Big white building with pillars. singing. I should have put my bloody buddies on, shouldn't I, really? <coughs> Getting wet feet again. I got this feeling that the bar 
Reese came from more Penzance way, you know, in the past. At the back of the church, there's a little pathway leading down, and it goes, I don't know where it goes, but there's um. It's like a little troll path. I'm just going to go and see where it goes. Going across this little trippy trappy bridge. Is that of interest? I can hear ducks quacking in the background. I might come out into a field that overlooks the bay or something. Yeah, it's probably at, um, an entrance for a walkway. There's sheep in the field there. This probably takes you out across the field where you can see the sea or something like that. Yes, you can. It's climbing up to the stile. Yeah, there's fields. Walkways. Across a little bridge now, across a little stream. Back to the churchyard. Here we trip trapping across the bridge. some milk this morning and well, I didn't realise when I drank my tea or half my tea that it was off and I'd eaten a bowl of bloody cornflakes. So that's gonna upset my stomach. Right I'm down the bottom end of the churchyard. Just having a look round now for there's an enclosed bit with railings. Quite a large rectangular thing with all shapes of stones in here. There's Hicks and Stevens names are just Scott. Right, just got a turnover, I think. I can turn over. Right, still at St. Hugh. Just have to turn the tape over. There's quite a big plot to a Stevens family. Quite a great big rectangular square rectangular plot. Some with railings that are down. So William Henry at the back of the church now. More Williams. I say I think the Barbaries come more from down further down Cornwall, but I'll have to be a separate trip to do that. Be nice to find one though. There's a Thomas Pierce here though. Oh, they turn up everywhere, don't they? He died in 1855, age 67. And, his, and Susanna Pierce, she died in 1884, age 94. So the Pierces are still with us. Dungy. The name Alan we've got. This is here. Pomeroy. Oliver. No, a real. Parnells. Some of them look that. They're not what. They look a bit um, unhappy, these graves, actually. They're old, but some are slate. a 
good look round though. Truscott, another Truscott. Pick up other names because you can find them in the uh, in the thing. Clark, census, Lob. John Pierce. He died 1875 or 6, age 64, and Ellen, who died 1879, age 19. Very common name, isn't it? Barbary certainly ain't. Certainly ain't common this part of the world. Yelland, there was a Yelland, I believe. Uh, John Yelland, who died Little Paul Goose in 1865, age 54. Remember Yelland from somewhere. Trunks. Ham. Wilton. Paul Wilton. Little Wilton patch over there. Henry Vincent. Quite a big graveyard, actually. I don't want to miss the Barbary, do I? Just the fig. Who's this? Seacum? Right, in the square as well, they've got like a, a little tiny building opposite the Crown Pub, which is referred to as the Village Lockup, because they used to have those in the olden days, where they used to put naughty people. And then my van's parked right next to it. Right, so I'm going to resume my search now. Cock, Rice, just jotting down some odd names, Jonathan Johns, there's a great big ditch going all the way round the church, I mean that could be for damp, keep the damp out, there's a few covered up, and they weren't very popular because there would have been some by now. I suspect there's a lot of ones are probably under all the rubble. <coughs> That's going to be the problem there. Oh, it's a beautiful day though. Beautiful day. But this is St. You, where it's recorded in the parish registers that there were Barbaries here, but or they married here. They married in this church. Because the parish registers I have were the marriage ones. So it's, it's quite a possibility that some of Zara's great grandparents, I can't remember which ones, I have got some things written down. Um, got married in this church. I can't find a Barbary grave at the moment, but they might not have buried, they might not have been buried here, see? I only got hold of the marriage. I didn't get hold of any burials. That's another job. At another time, they didn't seem to know much in the library. <coughs> you ought to get on the ball now, though, with all the family tree taken off big time, long before... Long after I started doing my tree, now it's big time, it's on telly. In fact, there's a programme tonight, I've got to watch. I've got to remember to keep that in my head. I missed last week's. I'd need to miss it, I was in London, I forgot. I forgot all about it. Triggs. 
Like I said, they might have married here, but they might not have been buried here. You can hear the old crows crowing in the background. Please let there be one here. Come all this way. Um, stalker. Not to worry. Like I said, I reckon the Barbaries are further down. When we get down to Penzance, where I'll do that, that'll be a separate trip. Oh, it's so beautiful to be out. Out and about. Free. That's what I love about this. This is what I love. I do this for a living, you know, someone paid me to find a tree. Some bodies here. Some of them are so black, these stones, that you can't pick out the... <coughs> you can't pick out the names. You know, I bet your life a Barbary would be one of them. Not even a levering in this graveyard, actually. Where have they been? They're very St. Austell. I'm having a good look round though. Try not to miss anything. Right, I'm gonna turn off for a minute. So I'm gonna have a fag. Alright, there is a John Dark here. Now I know that there was somebody who married into a dark. I can't remember if it was a lovering or a I got, no, I got a feeling it was um Barbary married someone in the Dark family. Anyway, this John Dark was the husband of Elizabeth. Heman, H-E-A-M-E-N, who died 1911, age 59, and she died 1930, age 80. Darks. Guess what, folks? I found a Barbary. I found a Barbary. Right. In loving memory of William Henry, beloved husband of Elizabeth Barbary, died at Heligan Lodge, November the 16th, 1913, aged 70. And Elizabeth, his wife, Elizabeth Barbary, she died in July the 17th, 1937, aged 95. So I have found a Barbary grave. That is very good news. I'm going to take a picture of it. Right, that's really good news. This is at the spire end of the church, at the back, or the front, if you like, but it's right over the back, behind the tower, the spire. It's very big stone, upright. I've taken a picture of it. It's probably as tall as me. It's got a surround, and it's next to Jane Coon of Little Paul Goose, who died 1907, age 69, and Elizabeth, who died 1913, and, no, it wasn't Jane, it was James Goon, or Coon. That's right next to the Henry Barbary grave. So obviously the Barbaries married into the Henrys, and I did see some Henrys further down the back there. So that's good. That's very good news. That's very good news. So we found one, and I can try and find the links with that one. See, there could be Barbary women in here. You see, that's they fortune. They have fortunately put her name on the grave. Quite often, they don't put the woman's maiden name on there. There's a John Venning here. I've got a feeling somebody married a Venning of Lanhadron who died 1897, age 59, and Anne, his wife, who died 1890, age 55. A Venning sounds familiar as well. So around the Sparbury grave, there's a... There could be other family members. 
we seem to find at least, well not always, we found one in Mevagasy. I don't know if we found any yesterday, I didn't think we did. So that's really good that is. So we found a Barbary, it wasn't a waste of time then, see. It's worth the effort. Because it's not that very, at least like when I bring Zora down, I can take her straight to the graves. Because this would be too much for Brandy. So you've got a number of graves that are, you can't see the writing on them. They need to be dug around to bring out the, the names. Teagle, Kendall, Matthews, Hocking. Painter. Oh, that's such a good find. I'm glad I found something. It's only a few. I mean, that Elizabeth could have been related to somebody. Well, obviously she was related to somebody. It pays to read the whole stone as well. Because often, if you just take the first name, there's other people often in the grave with them. And you could miss that if you don't look carefully. Now someone's been out cutting grass. Sometimes that, you can't always see who that is in there. Plots. Coming to near the end of the old patch now, and then there's a newer patch up in the far corner, right behind the tower. <coughs> so that is very good. As I say, they're disappearing, these graves. There's another William Henry here, um, and somebody, Malvina. Don't see. Um, yeah, ha, ha, uh, William Henry, husband of her. He died in 1939, he's 70 something. So that's a Henry family. Right, that's that. End of that uh, little visit. But it wasn't fruitless. We know Barbaries were married here. They're written in the records. We found a, a Barbary girl who married a Henry bloke and basically that is a link, see? Even if it's a small one. In some places you can't even find their graves anymore and there's bound to be some buried in here. I'm just going to take a picture of the grave again from a different angle with the church in the background. Of course we do have this little thing near Zara where we always go clockwise around a church. In this case it took, um, so we were nearly round, um, to locate it. That's good though. That's the end of that one. Off to the next one now, next village. I need to find some where I can buy a camera. We'll stop the tape there at St. U before we go on to Grand Pound at Creed. So that's the end. This was in 2007 on a Cornish visit looking for Zara's ancestors. So over and out for now.
go everybody this is Sheila in 2024 just updating the some of the Cornish stuff I've had to start again because I've lost some of it it's not lost it's just misplaced somewhere amongst all the other family tree stuff I've got several of these to do this was from 2007 also with added photos of my own and from other sources as well which are under Creative Commons um, there's lots more to do um, I doesn't keep saying um but basically we've done an awful lot on the family tree for the Barbary family who we know moved to um, Ifrakum in Devon at some point and slightly changed the surname adding an E to it as well still lots more research to be done and um, this continues as the tree continues to grow I'm adding web links this will be added to the ancestry tree with web links to YouTube for it to be seen the audio recordings are already on the family tree um, under audio in the gallery at the moment this is just an extra that I'm putting on for now over and out, this is Sheila. More to come, folks. Hang on in there.